Well, we are looking at the end of summer, June, July, August. That's the official summer months as far as record books. So now that those months are over, let's see what summer was like around here. The average temperature for the whole summer season, those three months, 68.1 degrees, which is 1.5 degrees below normal. All three summer months came in below normal for temperatures. All three summer months came in below normal for rainfall, 7.55 inches. That's almost four inches below normal. Had four days in the 90s and then one on September 1st, so five days totally for the year. 19 days this summer were below 70s. That means we had highs in the 60s and 50s for almost 20 days. Here's some good news for you. The September outlook has changed from Climate Prediction Center and they had us in below normal temperatures uh, over the last two weeks, but now they've changed it and most of the eastern country is expected to see above normal temperatures. So we could have a very nice September month leading into what could be a very beautiful fall season. Uh, 90s, you know, a lot of people talking about the 90 we had on September 1st. Well, in September, we've had temperatures as warm as 99 degrees. That was back in 1939. Uh, and in 1939, we had five days in the 90s. But that actually wasn't the warmest September on record. Warmest September was 1931. High temperatures today, 80s and 90s just about everywhere. So you can see this warm air mass is in place across the Midwest. It's not going anywhere uh, fast. High temperatures today across the area, 86 in Milwaukee, 88 Racine, 89 Kenosha, Chicago hit 90. A little bit of an easterly wind keeping us in the 70s to our north. If you're going out this evening, you'll be 70s lakeside as the winds have already shifted to the northeast, 81 in Waukesha. Dew points are in the upper 60s to around 70. So it's going to stay sticky overnight tonight. As we take you back to the morning hours, you'll see we did have an area of showers and storms and then some hazy cloudiness after that. And in the evening hours, a couple of isolated showers developing in Kenosha and Walworth County, but most of the rest of the area stays dry. This low pressure system, very persistent, yeah. just drifts uh, to the east over the next uh, 36 to 48 hours. And as that low drifts to the east, a slight chance of an isolated shower is possible over the next 24 to 36 hours. And right on in through Saturday morning, we'll see a lot of sunshine and again, a small opportunity of a stray shower or thunderstorm until that front out west comes in uh, during Labor Day and gives us an opportunity for cooler weather Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, some patchy fog late. Again, an isolated shower south in the evening, 66. Your overnight low, those winds turn northeast and they stay northeast tomorrow. So we're taking the temperatures lakeside down to 78. Still 85 inland with an isolated shower. And into Saturday, with lots of sunshine, a small chance of an isolated shower or storm and a high of 83 degrees. Your Storm Team 4 seven-day forecast looking pretty good on Sunday. Sunshine in 86, Labor Day Monday still in the 80s, and a chance for a storm. Then by Tuesday, we're 77, all the way down to 68 by Thursday.